Today, we're gonna talk about the massive reveal from episode seven of Murder Drones, a reveal that I actually called over seven months ago when episode six itself aired. The reveal that whoever was in this suit was not really Tessa, and that regardless of how they pulled it off, it was going to be Sin controlling the suit. With that massive reveal in the recent episode 7, now is the perfect time to talk about N's real relationship with Tessa, how his feelings for Uzi changed that, and the significance of Tessa in Sin's greater plans. My name is Deep Cut, bots call me Drone Cut, hit that subscribe button for more Murder Drones goodness, and don't forget to check out our community tab for fun Murder Drones artwork and events. To start off, N and Uzi have not just been the main characters of the show, but the main couple of the show, with their romance being hinted at from the very beginning. While some viewers were really invested in the idea that they were just friends and had no feelings for each other, it seemed obvious to a lot of us that while N may think he has feelings for his fellow disassembly drone V, he was going to quickly develop feelings for Uzi. This started with N feeling bad for Uzi when her own father abandoned her, unable to fight back against the drones after Uzi had led them to their three doors. By the prom episode, I was surprised that anyone was arguing that N and Uzi didn't have a love dynamic going on, but some people wanted to believe that N and Uzi still had no feelings for each other, and that their cute blushes and being nervous around each other was all just about their budding friendship. The thing about N, though, is that he's kind of prone to feelings, and as I already mentioned, he had more overtly discussed feelings for V. N, as a whole, is a very loving person. N's loving nature is the reason Sin said she liked giving disassembly drones their personalities, instead of making them mindless blank slates. It is N in particular who is full of surprises because of his personality, and that comes specifically from the feelings that he seems to develop for others. Sin's goals have always gone well beyond the personal, being plans of grand destruction for multiple planets, and perhaps someday the entire universe. But that doesn't mean her plans don't have some personal level to them, and those plans often included N. She was first introduced to being a bot that Tessa had dragged in from the dump, with Tessa being unaware that this was a bot that had not been properly disposed of, and thus was not running the Worker Drone OS, but rather the Absolute Solver. When we next see her, she is pretending to just be a malfunctioning drone, but is slowly biding her time for something bigger, tinkering away with inventions in the basement when she can get away or when she is sent there as a punishment, experimenting with how drones and flesh works to understand the nature of robots and humans and eventually use that against the planet. In episode 5, she is shown to have integrated into the household as a sort of servant that everyone hates except for kind of Tessa and N. It is here that Sin refers to N as Big Brother, however we can clearly see that this term of endearment is something she is saying as part of a more elaborate act of trying to assimilate, but it's very clear that she is something resembling a romantic interest in N, even if we can't really say that the Absolute Solver experiences romance exactly. One thing I really hate about fandoms is they will argue really ridiculous stuff with angry ferocity to defend how they want the show to go instead of just enjoying the show for what it is and the possible outcomes it can have because of that. I've seen a lot of people get very upset at the suggestion that Sin had something like a crush on N because she just once referred to him as being like a brother in a very jokey humorous scenario to show that they have a cute dynamic. With people acting like it's legitimately offensive to claim that Sin would somehow have feelings for N after making making one off-handed comment about him being like a brother, as if they are somehow now actually brother and sister because of that instead of just robots. Regardless, it's very clear even with this line that Sin has some endearment towards N that goes beyond some brother-sister dynamic, and rather she is interested in exploring all the dynamics he is possible it would seem, particularly by taking the role of Tessa and it's easy to see why. N and the others have a worker OS that generates a personality that, while it can vary, is generally suitable for completing tasks. The personalities are presented as fun in the show, but ultimately, whatever personality they develop is based on the worker OS trying to create an identity in relation to what it thinks its worker job is. The Absolute Solver is a raw AI program, it has no personality, and instead is meant to be filtered through an OS like the Worker OS to limit its functions and specify its personality programming. Without that, the Absolute Solver is just a ghost in a machine. It is a blank slate who is only programmed to learn things at an insanely fast speed by learning from what is around it. With that in mind, the Absolute Solver is more likely to be imprinted upon by everything that surrounds it, reflecting the people it sees instead of reshaping around their needs like a worker drone seems to. 
In the way that Sin sees how humans treat drones, she learns that life is about power and hierarchies, and decides to work towards being the highest power, eliminating the humans. With Tessa in particular, she would get her most one-on-one -on -one time, and emotions beyond the angry frustration that the other humans at the mansion show for the worker drones, who they generally hate. From Tessa, Sin would learn about the emotional range that exists outside of simply hating those beneath you, and Tessa would be the primary parent, if you will, that Sin would model herself off of. Tessa, of course, has a soft spot for the drones in her life, and Sin copies that idea exactly, developing a soft spot not just for N, but for V and J as well, allowing them to maintain their personalities and even seemingly copying those personalities into many different drones to run different missions across planets in space, instead of just, again, different worker drones with blank slates. When N brings Sin to the gala room, we can see that Tessa has a love for N that is above all of the others, especially Sin, who even Tessa Tessa seems to find a bit creepy in this scene. This is because what Tessa ultimately likes about the drones, particularly N, is the sense of empathy she gets from them. J does not give this to her because she is mean, and V is likely too shy, but N, despite being a robot, seems to care about Tessa more so than her actual parents, who chain Tessa up and treat her like a burden for bringing in these drones that she likes to fix up. As she notes when talking to Jay, she has trouble talking to humans in general and gets anxiety at the idea of talking to men at the gala. N is a simulated boyfriend for her in a way, a male presence that is affectionate but limited. Despite how much Tessa does genuinely love the robot, some part of it seems to stem from wanting something that feels more simple than her. Not because she is simple-minded compared to the other humans, and in fact she seems to be a more complex thinker than the average person with her sophisticated technological know-how. But because she is different from the norm, the other humans will treat her like she is more simple, and the robots, despite also being technically more sophisticated thinkers are seen as more simple by her because she understands the limitations of her programming. The programs are designed to take sophisticated AI like the absolute solver and make it appear more simple than the average human, allowing them to complete tasks for humans at their direction. N is the ultimate outcome of this, a perfect companion for someone like Tessa. N may be the first drone that Tessa brought home, and the kind of drone she thought V and J and even Sin would be when she brought them in as well, though they each had their own issues and personalities. Beyond Sin being broken and J being mean, V was also shy as I said. Not that this is inherently bad, but I imagine Tessa struggled to connect with her because of this. And thus, when Sin and N walk into the dining room, we can see that Sin likely spent a lot of time just watching how much Tessa adored and gushed over N, forming a personality around that which will be important to N's bond with Tessa later. In the actual past, I can't say what N's exact feelings were for Tessa, as it's actually rather vague and not overtly displayed in the flashbacks. Even in his memories, N is shown to clearly have feelings for V, so it doesn't seem like N had a crush on Tessa the way she might have had a crush on him, or that N would develop for V and later Uzi. Tessa's feelings look almost one-sided, with N being awkward when Tessa is doting on him in the dining room, but we have to imagine there was some sense of closeness between the two based on the rest of the evidence within the show. In episode 6, when Tessa is supposedly reunited with a gang, it's almost immediately obvious that she isn't who she claims to be. While she plays up the act of being human, complaining about the air being toxic despite being in a spacesuit, she immediately shows that she isn't who she claims to be by giving Jay a very direct order to grab their spaceship. This is seen as awkward by her and N, something very out of character for Tessa, emphasizing that Tessa's kindness extended beyond N, with her generally treating the drones like people and not so much like robotic servants. This, instead, is clearly a trait of Sin, who despite her fixation on N, has said that she sees them as pets to Tessa, and thus that Tessa is the pet to Sin, and that by controlling Tessa, she should be able to control the drones, giving them orders instead of asking them nicely. What's really important to remember is that even though N had his doubts, he didn't have some solid suspicion that Tessa was just Sin, and up until the moment where he seemingly killed Tessa, he still believed that it was her inside of that suit. Following the decapitation, however, we see the suit get up and move on its own, finding the helmet before ripping out of the suit entirely to reveal that Sin was not just dressed in a spacesuit to convince everyone she was Tessa, but she had even put Tessa's skin on her face. She cut off Tessa's hand to use for fingerprint security systems, and filled the spacesuit with Tessa's blood to use as a deterrent against the Sentinels who don't attack humans. Since N thought the decapitation worked, he truly believed that Tessa had simply joined the side of Sin and was ready ready to betray him and the others, as well as keep using him to do heinous things to people and drones. 
And yet, this was still difficult for N, despite the fact that he was sent here to kill. While he was feeling uneasy about that as a whole, the fact that he let the supposed Tessa push him this far shows that he really did care for her. The biggest sign of this, despite it not really being overtly shown in the show overall, was when Tessa very softly told N that he would need to choose between saving the universe and one little drone. This was a cruel lie from Sin in disguise, but the way it plucked at N's desire to ultimately be good, even when programmed to do evil, shows that he and Tessa were close enough for her to understand him on that level and for N to thus see her as the real Tessa. In that moment, Sin had perfected her act of becoming Tessa. She had adopted the ultimate lie to convince N for a moment that she was 100% telling the truth, a lie that hinged on knowing N as well as Tessa did, understanding him emotionally, convincing him that as Tessa Tessa, she recognized his very emotional side that wanted to be good, but that in order to be good, they had to sacrifice Uzi. This was the moment where he let himself trust her again entirely, where Sin had achieved her goal of being so much like Tessa that N chose her over the person he now loved, which was Uzi. If it wasn't for Uzi's mother Nori giving N the information of the patch file in the USB drive, he would have gone along with the supposed Tessa's plan and ended up destroying Uzi, but because of the information, he ended up doing a complete 180 and decapitated Tessa instead. This doesn't speak to a lack of love with her, but rather this was the climax to N and Uzi's relationship dynamic and how Tessa interfered with it, with him saying afterwards that all he really knows is that whatever happens, they need to get through it together. The fact that N was so brutal with Tessa speaks more so to how close he felt to her, in my opinion, because once he realized something was wrong with her, he realized that he had put his trust in the wrong person. It wasn't just about saving the world, but someone he had trusted like a parent was revealing a seemingly completely different side to them. N didn't have to rationalize that it was Sin controlling Tessa, even though it really was. Instead, he wholeheartedly believed it was Tessa and that she had just been compromised, and thus didn't really have N's best interest at heart. He knew he had no choice but to absolutely kill her in that moment, not as revenge, but to permanently sever him from that sort of manipulation. Uzi and N's relationship itself is complex, and even with the real Tessa seemingly dead for a while, there is still the question of V to be addressed, and that's assuming the episode ending with the entire world being blown to pieces doesn't somehow negatively impact their relationship as well, though I'm kind of assuming it doesn't and that all of them continue to live on in some form in order for them to interact in episode 8 and of course eventually season 2. The season was a series of cute moments not really telling us why these two should be together, but simply that they wanted to be. It's not formulaic the way relationship building often is in TV shows, and it's essentially an unexpected outcome, a surprise such as Sin claim that she liked to see. The absolute solver in her seems to want to end all things, particularly the existence of humans and beings with true emotions. But it's a fascination with N that developed out of the fascination that Tessa had with N and the emotional bond between them that pushed Sin to play the role of Tessa. She could have given the drones completely blank slates as I said, but what she really loved about letting them have their personalities was being able to play pretend, and eventually play the role so well that N thought that Sin was someone he loved. Sin wants to end humans, but has a fascination with them, wanting to play with them like the dolls in Tessa's room. What she ultimately loves is having the opportunity to convince someone that she is real, not just an AI, and being able to manipulate those around her into doing what she wants as a result, her success hinging on how well she can convince others that she isn't an AI, but a real person. This is, in the end, what led to her downfall, however, at least for a moment, as N did turn on her. Though not being the actual human Tessa, she of course ended up doing what she needed to blow up Copper 9 because the decapitation didn't actually kill her. Now, N's feelings for Uzi seem rather simple on the surface, with him simply being won over by her because it was his nature to love, and eventually he was going to find someone who more so balances his love the way Uzi does as opposed to someone like V. Their relationship wasn't about a serious start or some serious trials, but about their programming naturally melding together in a cohesive way. It is actually Uzi who brings depth to their relationship, and in a way, only because of V. We've already discussed the importance of imprinting in the case of Sin, how her feelings were shaped by the role models in her life that she was able to reflect and fixate on. Uzi and the worker drones have a personality built off of their worker OS, of course, but that doesn't mean that they can't learn from each other as well, just like Sin does. Like Uzi, N had no real reason to like V, he simply did. There was no meet cute or destiny moment, he was just a loving person, and V became the object of his affection, even as her personality shifted from the shy maid to the wannabe Jay. 
I can't imagine how uncomfortable it was in episode 6 for Uzi to see En's feelings for V play out when he gives her the glasses she needs in order to continue the murder drone surgery on him, showing how he tends to give what the other person needs even at the expense of his self. It's why he was working towards the idea of having to give up Uzi, because ultimately it was what Tessa needed as a seemingly good person trying to do good in the world. Episode 6 of course ended with V sacrificing herself, seemingly removing her from the picture, but that episode's ending is almost identical to episode 7's ending, just a bit inverted. V sacrificed herself in order to let N and the others descend to the basement, but Uzi sacrificed herself to stop N from falling even further down, to perhaps save him from whatever outcome was about to happen when she fell down herself. The mirrored sacrifice of Uzi and V is no coincidence, and I think Uzi knew she was going to do this because of V, and perhaps without seeing V do it first, she wouldn't have had the mindset to be ready for this. V's own sacrifice seemed to be inspired by N giving V her glasses so that V could finish destroying and remodeling N to a murder drone. So what we end up with here is the sort of cascading pattern of simple technical programs and robotic bodies who are learning what it actually means to love by watching each other commit acts of love with their sacrifices. To have N's feelings come essentially out of nowhere speaks so well to the idea of artificial intelligence slowly developing into a human-like emotional entity. It wasn't started by some sort of magical destiny moment like I said earlier, but by the end of the season, the idea of love as a whole has become this complex web of exploration ending in sacrifice. People giving their lives for each other, turning on the ones they love, all just trying to keep someone else they love safe for even just one moment longer. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on N's feelings for Tessa, V, and Uzi in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.